What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So, Kodak Black and NBA Young Boy seem to be feuding right now over the past incident that just happened recently pertaining Young Boy NBA baby mother and his fiance, um, which is Floyd Mayweather daughter. So, what's said to be happening is that um, uh, NBA Young Boy baby mother came over somewhere around. 12 to 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, then his um, fiance ended up coming over while she was there. Told the girl to leave. Uh, his baby mama refused to leave. Two knives were pulled allegedly by Floyd Mayweather's daughter. The girl got stabbed multiple times. Uh, Amalam came to the scene. The girl was on the floor. Bleeding. Sources are saying the woman is in critical condition. Also, they saying that Mayweather's daughter was released out on a three thousand dollar bond. Um, so Kodak Black went to the internet because they were saying how um, young boy NBA was cooperating with the police because it happened at his house. Like, I mean, you supposed to to some degree. Come on, man, and the brother. Uh, uh, I think he on paper and on, you know, a lot of things going on with him legally. And it happened at his house and he was there. So to some degree, you have to cooperate. You can't, I ain't telling you nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Okay, well, y'all all going down. But um, to some degree, you have to say something, man. Come on. I don't like when brothers be trying to act too Superman, too macho, too gangster, gangster, bang, bang. Man, your name only is supposed to be at that. When they come into your house, it is. When somebody got stabbed in your house, house, you definitely supposed to say something. And you there. You better clear something up. Especially when you know you the one that stand to, stand to lose it all. So, but you know, in this day age, people always want to put a tag on somebody. And when you on top like that, people going to come at you. I'm used to it because it happened to me in the field that I'm in. When you on top like that, people come for you because they want to tie they self up. They want to tie uh, their brands into you. They want to tie their names into you. They want to be in the conversation with you and somehow want to uh, leech and get any crumbs they can that can come off of uh, any controversy with you. So let's listen to young boy NBA reply to Kodak Black uh, message he sent from jail uh, accusing him of working with the uh, police during this situation, even though you can't consider that working with no police like he really snitching on who got the dope, who got the guns, who on the block, who murdered and killed such and such. So let's go off into that. Plus, you know, we're going to just let him speak for itself. Let's listen to it. Oh, man. These niggas watch me from a jail cell, man. These niggas watch me from a jail cell and be on my dick so bad, nigga. Niggas bitches. Niggas be writing academics about me, man. Telling academics to post shit about me. Niggas hoes. I ain't never paid attention to a nigga. Especially from no motherfucking cell, nigga. The fucking nigga watching me fuck. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say me. Nigga say I cooperated. Bow, bow, pain, bow. Okay, so basically, Kodak Black allegedly and pouring salt on his name and NBA young boy talking about how like everybody always speaking about him. Like I said, that's going to happen when you're on top, brother. That's what happened. But you got to know how to move while you on top, man. You've been in it too long to not see, to not know what's going on. Young boy, you've been in it too long to not seeing what's going on. And you have to be careful how you move. You don't want to be another Nipsey hustle. You don't want to be another XX Takashi on. You don't want to be another Takashi six, nine. You have to, uh, 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 be wise at what you uh, 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 are involved in and you have to take what's already out here and use it to your advantage so you won't be a victim of it bro you 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 like one of the one of the most sought out uh uh most loved dude to these young people right now you could put out music and songs and they'll hit the billboard, go crazy over the internet, and you will make money. You ain't like a lot of these other 
dudes who trying to rap that got to diss people in order to get fame. You actually got songs where you can come out and got a fan base that's crazy about you. So you got to move accordingly, little bro. You can't be so wild and reckless that everything is for the internet to prove you bad, prove you got shooters, prove you a killer. Because you're not proving nothing. What you're doing is raising an indictment case against yourself. And make no mistake about it. All this stuff y'all broadcasting, putting out on here, it's going to be used against y'all sooner or later in the future. The feds are definitely watching, building cases on all y'all. They don't want to see young black people making mass millions of dollars doing something so easy as rapping, having sex with all these girls, jewelry, money, living the life that they work so hard for and y'all get it so easy. So they definitely enjoy taking y'all down. They definitely like starting feuds and rivalries like that to build cases on y'all that actually build their careers in politics. Y'all can't be so stupid, young, ignorant, and foolish to these truths, man. These things you have to know. Haters gonna come with the game. You have to know how to move accordingly. You can't address everybody that got something to say. Your fan base so big, they ain't gonna never leave you. Your fan base so big, they ain't going to never leave you. All you have to do is continue to put out good content, man, and don't be involving yourself with all these chicks and girls and things like that because you're setting yourself up for a downfall, brother. And it's sad that if you look at your situation and all the allegations that's out on him like this, people still, women still want to lay down with him. I don't know how true it is, but they saying he got herpes because he admitted it in his song and his girl who he accused of giving it to him admitted it to and things like that. So if he's self-admitting allegedly that he got herpes, you still got girls still want to lay down with him even though he got herpes. You still See, see that's how reckless this life, this life is. They don't care. People just want to be involved. And ready to ride the wave. They just want to be a part of the system. And, and, and the game. And get any little bit they can. They don't care about sacrificing their body. Their future. Their mind. They, they don't care about that. You got to be smarter though little bro. And um. You can't let this money. Go to your head to the point that because you got it, it, you will use it as some weapon and tool to take advantage over people, to hurt people, to um, destroy lives and things like that. No, you got to be wiser than that, man. Learn from Rollo and them. Learn from A.R. Ab and them. Learn from all the people who was here before you and the ones that was here with you and what happened to them and they downfall. And you have to move entirely different. Let's go a little bit more. Oh, 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 what, you stupid bitch? Huh? About, 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 about my wife? Huh? About my wife? Say, Ayana, get up. Get up. Come here. You talking about, you talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my wife? Okay, so his wife, um, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Ayana, you know. Now, here's the thing. You say that's your wife. Okay. That's good if you if you're willing to make her an honest woman and not a girlfriend and a baby mama that she mean more to you than that that you willing to give her a ring to be your wife. That's good. And that you don't understand when you do things like that and you true to it and you serious to it, it takes away and alleviate a lot of your problems. You don't have to worry about having sex with all these girls, being in all these places at one time. You can't be worrying about who watching your back from here and there because you giving yourself out to everybody. When you have a wife, get head at home. When you have a wife, get sex at home. When you have a wife, you should give her certain responsibilities that a wife should have that protects you brother from the outside world from the inner world and also from the things that if you didn't have a wife you would be susceptible of falling into man y'all young brothers man y'all need to do things to protect y'all self man invest in putting people around you who have your best interest that's not afraid of telling you where you go astray get you some real men with integrity around y'all invest in that rather than investing in jewelry and cars all the time invest than having people that can hold you accountable to keep you alive and safe to make better, wise business decisions. The Bible say a wise man loves wisdom. But if you try to correct the fool, he'll hate you, man. Fools despise knowledge. 
Fools despise knowledge. If you want to survive and look, look, bro, don't ever get to the point where that money make you think you so secure that death won't come to you, that uh, crisis won't come to you, that you, 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 you won't go through the hardships of life. Because let me tell you, son, that's a lie. And they're set up to make you believe that, man. So Bro, no. that I paid for, now her bitch ass daddy, nigga. Huh? And now her bitch ass daddy. I ain't no now, see, I don't agree with you doing that. Now, if that's your wife and you respect her wife no matter what, you don't have to disrespect her father like that. You out of pocket when you do that. Even if you don't get along with her father, her father got a right to be concerned about her being with guys like you. You have a reputation of getting into trouble all the time. People have actually died around you, brother. And girls have actually been in, involved with all type of STD thing concerning your name, allegedly. So as a father, you would be concerned if your daughter was dealing with a guy like you, too, with all, the, with all that baggage that's around them. So I don't see why you would disrespect her father like that. I don't even see how she allow it to happen like that and that's out of pocket too you know what i'm saying because no matter what you think about the father if it wasn't for her father she wouldn't be alive she wouldn't even be here she wouldn't even exist and that's why the bible say children honor your fathers and mother that you may live long when you're not respectable to parents what happens is you can't be respectable to god which means sooner or later you die early death no matter what you can play them games and think that it's not true but i promise you the bible have always been true and it will always be proven proven true i don't like that part right there where you disrespect and her, 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 and I know that this comes from you doing this because you knew it was going to hit the internet. You know, a lot of people going to go crazy about it, but it shows your disrespect towards her. It shows how you feel about her, but at the same time, trying to honor her as being a wife. At the end of the day, they're still her father, man. And it's sad that she don't even, she not even bothered by that neither, that you could blatantly disrespect the man who gave her life like that, man. I don't like that. Because at the end of the day, young boy, let's keep it real. You can't beat Mayweather, so why even act like it? And your, your your money ain't even nowhere near here. So why even act like it? But that's wrong to do that like that. I think you disrespected yourself and you disrespected your so-called wife. And that ain't good, little bro, man. Do not be a victim of these streets in this industry. Be better than that and learn from the people who was here before you. This your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment asking question. It's yours. Stop letting this industry kill y'all, young brothers.